what do I recommend when setting up your lighting for your reef tank? Let's get into it. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video by Serif. So I've had a few questions about my lighting schedule and what I run on my reef tank. So I thought I'll do a quick video on the lighting on my reef tank. For this video, I'll mainly just cover my lighting intensity, photo period, spectrum and ramp time. Before I jump into the nitty gritty, just a couple of disclaimers. Firstly, I'm not going super in depth in the topic of lighting because I do not have such in depth knowledge. And also, it'll probably take a few hours to explore lighting on a reef tank. The purpose of this video is just to give some tips and recommendations on lighting based on my own experience and what I've learned from others over the years. Also, it will be heavily focused on LED lights because that is what I am currently using and I feel that it is the most complex to set up solely because of the ability to program and tune it. So please don't take everything that I say as the absolute truth but take it with a pinch of salt. The spectrum is a widely debatable topic with many many different views on the best spectrum for our corals. Some of the more controversial topics include whether red and green light actually cause algae growth or what is the best spectrum for the reef tank. And honestly, for many of these topics, I'm kind of on the fence, so I am not really very sure about what I generally feel about these topics. It is hard to tell what works best because there are so many other variables to consider when you see that a certain tank has very colourful coral or the corals are not doing as well. And that includes things like the type of corals you keep, the rock scape, the flow in the tank, the overall tank conditions. So it is hard to determine what is the best spectrum for colouring your corals. My recommendation for you guys would be to use a spectrum that is widely utilised in the reefing community. So for example, the Radeon AB Plus is one of the most used lighting spectrum and using it will help to eliminate the possibility that the spectrum is the cause of issues in your tank such as coral or algae issues. Currently, this is my own spectrum that I'm using. It follows largely the AB Plus spectrum just without that much red and green lighting. The best way to determine what intensity to use is by using a power meter. After determining the rough idea of the types of corals that you want in a tank, you should kind of use a power meter to determine the best intensity for a tank. Among spectrum intensity, photo period and ram time, the light intensity is the thing that I change the most. And this is largely because the light intensity is usually the cause of most issues related to lighting. For example, one of my torches had polyps that were not quite extended and I knew that the light intensity was the cause of the issues of why the torch was not quite extended. So what I did was that I kind of lowered my light intensity from around 55% to 45% which is what it is currently now. One tip I like to give about changing anything related to your lighting is to change it extremely, extremely slowly. So the way I lowered my light intensity from 55% to 45% was that I changed 1% of the intensity every week. Yes, you heard me right, 1% every week. So it was a very gradual change and the reason why I do that is because I don't want to shock the coral with the immediate change in lighting. So changing it slowly actually helps them to acclimate to the light changes slowly. For photo period, it is recommended to have your lights on for around 8 hours to 13 hours. For me, I currently run a 9 hours photo period and that's just because of the time that I look at the tank and I kind of try to fit the photo period to my own personal schedule. By the way, if the video has been useful so far, as a way of saying thank you, I would greatly appreciate if you could hit the like and subscribe button. Alright, back to the photo period. One important thing to note is that while there is no right photo period, the intensity of your light matters. So when thinking about your photo period, your corals getting 8 hours of 100 pa is wildly different from your corals getting 15 hours of 100 pa. So I recommend that if you're having a higher intensity of lighting, to have a lower photo period, and if you have a lower light intensity, to have a higher photo period. 
Among all the programmable options on your lighting, I believe that RAM time is the least important. Honestly, I don't know if it has any large impact on the corals. And the reason I say that is because previously with T5 or metal halides, there were no RAM times. It was on and off and even now, there are people who run their tanks with no RAM time. In those cases, the tanks were still able to be successful. So for me, I like to keep my RAM time short which is about 15 minutes from off to on. Alright, so I think that's all I want to talk about lighting. This video just scratches the surface on lighting and I hope it's helpful for you when thinking about lighting or setting up schedule for your lighting. As always, I will keep you guys updated on the status of the tank next week. And with that, I think I will end my video right here. Thank you for watching, stay safe, love your tank, till next time, see ya! Madam Reef signing off. Bye bye.